Hey guys, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. I've had the Magic Mouse since it first came out, and overall I've been very happy with it, but I have found it lacking in the feature department. The outgoing generation's Mighty Mouse had buttons on the side for additional capabilities, and you could push in the scroll ball for better or worse to access new features. However, the multi-touch Magic Mouse, while capable of a lot more, doesn't do all that much other than scrolling up and down and back and forth on some websites. Well, there's an application now that takes advantage of the multi-touch. It's called Magic Prefs, and I'll put a link to this in the sidebar, or if you're watching it on Techno Buffalo down below, that lets the Magic Mouse live up to its potential. All the stuff it should have done out of the box, this enables it to do. So, the place you want to go to download this is vladalexa.com slash apps slash OS10 slash Magic Prefs. And once you finish downloading that, what it's going to do, it's going to put a a little icon up here and I'll show you what your options are. Move this into the middle. And really anything you can think of that you wanted to do with your Magic Mouse, you now have the capabilities to do. So it's broken down into three categories. Clicks and taps, swipes, drag and pinch. And right here we're on clicks and taps and you can see what you can do. One finger click in the middle axis and there's a picture to the side that shows you what it means. Let's you set it for anything you'd like. Two finger click, you can set it for anything that you like and all these options you can pick and you can see off to the side what it wants you to do. Three finger click, you can set it to do something different. So here it can be expose or whatever else you'd like, spaces, dashboard, terminal, or set it for anything else you want using the custom targets. When you want to use something, you just turn it on. I'm going to turn these off right now. Taps, if you just want to tap the mouse, all these different capabilities that you can do. Swipes are the one that I find most useful. On the Mighty Mouse, I used to use expose and spaces all the time, and I had to use now hot corners with the Magic Mouse, and no longer do I have to do that. You can set this to do a ton of things that you like. So here I've got three finger swipe up for expose and three finger swipe down for, well, expose again, which essentially hides my desktop and brings it back up, but actually it's a pretty cool thing. So I'll show you what it looks like. And go down, and go back up and show just my desktop. Really makes it sort of handy to use. You also have drag and pinch, so you can now drag and pinch on applications. You can see you can drag the tail to hide things. You can drag the tail right to do something else. Two finger pinch in, two finger pinch out. There's just so much that you can do, and some of these may be a little bit more difficult. You can see it says potentially hard to use. Um, you do get a little convoluted of the options, but you can do anything you want with the Magic Mouse. This is a must-have application if you have a Magic Mouse. And if you've been holding out on buying a Magic Mouse because you want some more capabilities, uh, this is really going to suit you well. You can also adjust the tracking speed and the touch sensitivity as well. Really, it's a fantastic application. It's completely free, takes just a second to download, and is completely worth it. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. I'm kind of curious to what you set your Magic Mouse to do. You see, I haven't set mine to do that much, just a few things that I really needed. Hope you enjoyed, and for exclusive content, check me out at Twitter, twitter.com slash john4lakers. And for all your tech news and to create your own tech blog and even monetize it, check out technobuffalo.com. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.